Hi there everyone, it's Suze from CheapWeddingSolutions.com and I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up your own wedding website using the knot.com. So I've gone on to the knot website, uh, which I'll put the URL on, um, on below this video so you can get an idea of where to go to. And we'll click on the button that says, let's get started. Once you've clicked on Let's Get Started, it asks you to choose your theme. And the good thing about this is that you can switch it at any time. Now, I particularly liked, there's quite a lot of choice, so you really can choose one that fits with you guys. And just too much choice for me. I'm going to muddle around, so we'll just choose one now. I think that's probably easier. Um, oh gone down too far so hang on a second we will choose this one here nice and simple just taking a little bit of time to come through so one second okay so that's come through now and I'm going to choose this theme clicking on that blue button at the top And as you can see, you've got a section on the right hand side now that asks you to fill in your basic information, which is fairly self-explanatory. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that one second. OK, so I've now filled in all of the details on the site and I'm going to upload a photograph as well. So one second. You can choose from either Facebook, Instagram, or your own computer. And as you can see, I uploaded a particularly bad photograph of the two of us, but uh, it was the only one I could find that is uh, of us looking how we look at the moment. Um, so that's there, and that's all ready to go. So now we'll press the continue button. So here we will fill in our email address. and put in a password and click save and continue. So they've created our website, they've even got a URL for us, so ours is going to be the not.com forward slash us forward slash Susan Simon and so that'll be something that you'll be able to share on your own one um, and we'll see what happens next. So once that's all been saved, you can see that you're taken to the dashboard where you can add a whole load of extra things. You've got the guest list, um, you can see who's RSVP'd, um, so you can keep control of what's going on. Um, you can put in different pages onto your site, so here you can add your story, add your wedding, wedding information, anything else going on as well. Um, and you're good to go. So there's like lots of different things that you can add to it. You can even add, as I said, your registry. So there's lots and lots of bits and pieces that you'll be able to share with people. Um, and we'll have a little look and see what the site looks like with that simple edit. And there we have our website all ready for us to share so people can see when we're getting married and any of the details about the wedding, photographs that you want to add. Um, so it's a really simple one to use. Um, there are obviously restrictions in the respect of uh, the theme that you can add to the site and it is very commercial in the respect of that there are lots of adverts and stuff like that within the dashboard that pop up to help you um, plan your wedding. Um, so obviously that's up to you on whether you click on them or not um, but it's a fairly straightforward way to have a site all ready for your wedding for you to share. Um, another drawback that I can think of as well is that obviously the knot have got control on your site um, so it's not yours to necessarily do with as and what you want to do with it. Um, so maybe after the wedding you might want to add a whole load of extra photographs and keep it up for years to come and add on something on every anniversary. That may not be possible obviously because you don't know what the knot's going to do with your site. Um, so you may want to think of other alternatives if that's something that you want to do.